Hi, this is Trevor. And this is Spencer. Today we're going to compare the installation and uninstallation process on the uh, Windows, uh, OS, or Windows 7. And on the uh, Snow Leopard for Mac. Okay, so we're going to download Thunderbird. It's Mozilla's um, Outlook type of thing. Um, and so we're going to download these both at the same time. So go ahead, uh, we'll click it in three, two, one. Okay, we're just so you know, we're on the same internet connection. Uh, so that's kind of out there. Um, what you'll notice, first of all, is that Mac is not actually installing a zip file like Windows is. I'm not sure, to be honest, I'm not sure if that's because Mozilla is too lazy to put a, a zip file for Mac or if Mac doesn't have the capabilities of doing that. But that's really what makes this installation or sorry, the download process for Windows so much quicker. It is. It's, uh, it's about three times the size on uh, the Mac for whatever reason, the DMG file. Um, if anyone knows why that is, they sure they can post a response. Post a response please. to the video. So anyway, we'll see. We'll just see. This is downloaded, um, and then while we're waiting for the Mac to do this, we're going to do a couple of things that are features on the new Windows OS. Uh, let me first say yes to this. It's extracting. Okay. Um, so we'll just hold off. This is the installation process. Uh, so first of all, here's a couple new features. So I'm just going to get a couple of windows here just so I can demonstrate this. Um, of course, we have this. You know, this. We can see how many windows. That's how many windows I have open at the moment. Uh, let's say I would like you know, sometimes you get kind of pissed about how many windows you have open and you just want one open, uh, like this one. Uh, windows has this new feature where you just jiggle it and it'll actually have all the windows go to the taskbar. Now if you jiggle again, they'll all come back up. And if you have any minimized, they will not come back up, so it's really a nice integrated feature. Um, so it looks like the Mac has just finished downloading the file. Um, now let's just go ahead and here's my file and we'll just go ahead and show first we'll show the Mac download or installation process. It's it's pretty easy. All you do is you push accept and um, it'll mount the disk image and many Mac users will know this. You simply you simply drag the application into applications. It's just just like that. So it's a it's kind of a GUI based installation process. And it's as simple as that. And uh, you'll see it's right there. And you image hasn't loaded yet, but uh, open it up. Uh, I've got my Mac set up to uh, make sure anything I download checks before it boots it up for the first cool. time. And um, that's all you have to do. Cool for Mac. So let's go over to Windows. You'll see this is. I mean, we're just doing a comparison just so you can see if you've never seen this, but it's pretty much the same. You just hit next. You accept the terms, hit next. Uh, often they'll have standard or custom options. Custom, you know, you, for, is nice for bigger types of installations. And then it just installs and it's done. You can have, the, a lot of them have it launch now. So let's just launch it. Um, and I don't want to use it because it actually isn't really that good. But uh, let's go now to the uninstallation process. Um, for, for Mac, it's a piece of cake, and really, one of the things I've really liked about switching to Mac. Um, let me get out of here first, and um, all you do is you you open up your applications, go down to Thunderbird again. The image has not loaded yet. Throw it in the trash. Empty the trash. It's gone. So that's that's nice. That's how they do it. Again, a kind of a GUI-based method. Um, it's the same as Windows Vista, but if you're an XP user, this is a big improvement. Um, you just go to your control panel, you go to uninstall a program, and then you go down, you have to find the program. Here's Mozilla Thunderbird. You double click on it, and then it will just uninstall from there. And that's it. Um, so, benefits of the Windows 7 and Vista model is you can see all of your programs open right here, all of the ones you have. You have uh, installed. That way you can, in case there's something you don't know about, you can go in there. Let's say I never knew about Gone Player, you double click on that and you get rid of it. So that's really nice. Um, the simple thing about Mac is that 
It really is kind of an intuitive process. Take your program you don't want, throw it in the trash, and it's gone.